Hi everyone, it is Christmas season now that Thanksgiving is officially over. So I want to show you designs that I like to make for Christmas. Not all of these are my designs that I came up with. These are just the ones I like to do at parties and stuff. There's many levels of balloons. So it is balloon charade time. Guess what I'm making? I'm not going to tell you, but I want to show you some of the techniques as I go along. Oh, silly me. I don't need to put air in this. Okay. I'm taking a scrap piece of balloon. It's been broken off and I don't need to use it for any more. I need something called a balloon raisin. A balloon raisin is a balloon that's been tied in a knot. Do you ever hear anyone say use a balloon raisin? Don't go running for your raisin box. This is what they mean. Two knots are usually good. Three knots are nice, but you really shouldn't do more than that. Not for what I'm doing. And then I need my scissors. Balloon assistant, have you seen my scissors? Thank you. My balloon assistant is Dakota. You might see him from time to time. He's my nephew. <laughs> and a balloon master. I didn't have to teach him much before he figured out everything on his own. I'm taking a five inch balloon and I'm going to put my little raisin in here. And then I'm going to take my inflator. One, two, three, four. Sometimes it helps to count if you want to something to look exactly like what I'm making. So I did four up, down, up, down. I'm gonna tie a knot. All right. Now we want to have some fun on this one. I'm going to put some raisins in this as well. Now the raisins might be considered an advanced technique, but give it a try. You might be a beginner, but you might have talent. You might do this really easy. So the knot is basic. I'm just wrapping around my fingers, putting the end through the hole. It's just an over under knot, like you normally do with your shoelaces. And Dakota wants to show what he just made. Hold into the camera. He made a winter snowman. Frosty the snowman was a jappy jolly soul. A jappy jolly soul. Oh my a goodness. Happy, a happy jolly soul. <laughs> He's definitely related to me. I get my words mixed up too. Yeah, I. it takes me almost an hour to say one sentence. Two little balloon raisins into here. Have you an idea what I am making? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I did ten, but I want to get proportions right, so I'm going to put these two together. Actually, that looks really good. We can just a little bit smaller. Okay. Oh, I just had a thought. When you're making balloons, sometimes you get ideas out of the blue as something you could do. But would it work? I do it that. Mm, no, it wouldn't work what I'm doing. So anyways, I'm gonna take these two. One's to the left, one's to the right. And I pull them crisscross and then take one side and I wrap it around. And now I put a finger in the middle and I go crisscross and make an X. And then one goes under the X and through and I pull tight. Ta -da! Do you know what I'm making yet? You probably guessed it. I'm not gonna say till the very end, ha <laughs> ha. Okay, now I need brown. I don't know if I need two. I definitely know I need one. Okay, so. You might not know it, but right now we have a shortage of a lot of different things because of supply chain issues. One of the things that we're low on is latex. That's the latex that makes the balloons, which makes making balloons difficult because they had to discontinue making our favorite shapes and sizes. They even discontinued colors. One of the colors that's really hard to get a hold of is black. So all I have for black is chocolate brown. I got a dark brown. So on the end of here, I'm going to put, I don't know if I want to do three or two, but I'm going to do at least two. I'm going to look at it. So, ah, I'm going to do three. I'm going to do three. Twist that. If you twist it enough times, all you have to do is break. 
the end and it doesn't come apart because you've twisted this enough times. You don't actually have to tie that in a knot. Now let's see if I can make another one of those out of this one. Oh, good and tight. My niece got the sneezies. I don't want this to get untwisted. So what I do is I take this first bubble and I try to push it through. I pull this side apart while I'm pushing this side down. It's called a roll through. Now, this is lock twisted. So basically we did around and then we did the over and under by putting it through. That makes a knot. And then over here on this end, all I have to do is, I wanna make sure that these are the same length. Okay, they are the same length. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Oh, my, my assistant wants to show you something else that he made. My snowman fell apart, his head shrunk, so I took it apart and made a Frosty the Snowman hot air balloon. Oh, we're in New Mexico right now, and hot air balloons are really, really big. I'm going slow. This is really tight. And when it's really tight, it might go boom. That's when you kind of hold it away from yourself. Just barely got two of these from one. But you can see this is bigger than this. I made this smaller, so I should have made that smaller. That would definitely give me room for two. But that's how it sometimes goes. But they're going to be on different sides of the body. And so people won't point out, hey, that's bigger than this side. People won't say that. You'll see. You'll see the end product. Okay. Now, we take this form. Can you hear the rattle of those little balloon raisins? I want to catch one. Oh. <laughs> this can be tricky. So I hold it and you can see the light of the shadow and I can touch see the raisins right there. But when you go to grab it, sometimes that raisin rolls. Okay. Two things. I can wrap this raisin around these three pinch twists, maybe. But it's much easier if you tie a knot. <clears throat> you get a balloon and you pull it. You, you have the raisin pinched in your fingers and you pull this around three or four times. And then I'm holding the knot, the, the raisin in place. If I don't, it can unwind and pop I'm gonna go flying who knows where. Pull it tight, and there we go. And you can see how that rubber band tied right around that raisin. All right, I need my scissors. Oh, I see them. Balloon assistant, when we're sharing scissors, make sure you put them between us. So it's okay. very easy to go. And now I do, do that to the other side. Okay. Shakey, shakey, catchy, catchy. Now, if I was making this at a birthday party, it would take a while, because as you see, making those raisins and then catching them can take time. So this is good if you're going to make this as a gift. Or if you're doing a candy cup and you want to put this beautiful creation on it. Okay, now that I, after you catch the raisin, you twist it three or four times. And then you take your the rest of your balloon and wrap it around one, two, three, four times. I like to go four times because sometimes when I'm tying it, it starts to unwrap. And I figured the more times I tie it, the less chances it has of like that raisin escaping. Now that raisin stretches out the wall of the balloon. So every time you try to catch, recatch that raisin, if you try to catch it in the same spot, that part of the balloon gets weaker and weaker and your balloon might pop. So it's good to catch, recatch runaway raisins at different spot, just slightly different. All right, and now I need my scissors. Thank you, assistant. All right, and now we want to catch one more. The, little, the one reason that we put in this one up here. Okay. 
It's not exactly in the center, but that's okay. I can work with that. Twist that three or four times. I grab this in one finger, but with the hand holding the raisin, and I wrap around one, two, three, four, five, for good luck. And then I need to hold the raisin down. I'm going down into my lap, I'm off camera. See, I'm wearing my winter claws. Unfortunately, I got a little too round this summer. So, I gotta get to exercising. Unfortunately, balloon twisting doesn't burn enough calories I need around my waist. Wish it did, it certainly takes lots of energy. All right, now that we have created attachment points, we can take these and we hold one of the balloons near the raisin. We push the raisin into the center where the three pinch twists meet. I hold it with one thumb, pushing it in. And then with my other finger, I wrap this around. Oh, my sister had tragedy. And then to make it disappear, we let, pull it and let go and it gets eaten into the latex. And we'll do the same with this one. We'll pull this one and let it go. See how it just disappears like magic? Now we're going to do it to the other side. Quick. Just wrap around and pull and let go. Boink. And let's see about this side. Boink. And now for the top. I only brought my travel bag, so I don't have all the colors that I'm used to. Baby, baby got the inflator. Get it away from baby. Thank you. Hey, baby, we need to use this right now. It's the only one I have. If this one breaks, we're up the creek without paddle. Okay. So, yeah, I'm here spending Thanksgiving with family, but I don't see that often. <laughs> So, I got my travel balloon kit so it doesn't have all the balloons that I'm used to working with. But it has enough to create a lot of fun. Let's see, what have we made? We've made swords. We made princess wands with butterflies and with lights in it. That's my favorite part to make. We made flying snakes. What did you call the flying snake? A warback. A warback from Godzilla. From Godzilla versus Kong. And it's big. It, like, it turned out really huge. It was really fun. We made mermaids. Okay, now that I have, I made a loop and two pinch twists. I'm gonna take the little ball with the attachment plates, pull that raisin up in between the two pinch twists, and I wrap this string around. Pinch. This, this is a spacer bubble. It's less than two fingers big away from the main section. Oh! Showing off our war bat. So, after I do the spacer bubble, I did a pinch twist, and then I wrap around the loop twist. Now I'm going to pinch and twist to get it started, and then all I have to do to keep this piece going around the pitch twist is I rotate. Rotate and walk it around just like that. I don't need this part, so I rip it off. Isn't it coming along fantastic? And now, the final balloon before marker art time, which is my favorite time. So, we want to measure the length of his tummy to his neck, and that is where we'll put a pinch twist, and now we will wrap this around, pinch, and twist, and pull it into that pinch twist. And then I just have to roll the large end of the balloon around 
and it wants to go around that picture all by itself. I'm pulling the knot, that's called rolling the knot, to create a long tapered point and to make room for, more room for the air to make it nice and soft. <coughs> Pinch and twist and then you can isolate and rip that end off. Tie a knot, I go around my fingers, go to the back of my fingers and then push it through the center, grab it from the front, slide my fingers out. That's how I untie my balloon. And now I want to shape it, so I form this piece of balloon into a letter S, and I go squishy, squishy. I alternate the squishes so it doesn't pop. If I squeeze at the same time, it might pop. So one side, then the other side, one side, then the other side. And that causes it to kind of have a sneaky up and down. Like wind is blowing. And this time, Rebecca, I need you to stay away from the Spider Man, okay? No. No, please. I don't have a lot of those left. Googly eyes. I don't have a lot of googly eyes left. Okay, and now what I do is I want that all to be on the same side. So I'm going to move the hat around. And like, do I want to have that sideways or do I have it like that? I think I want it like that. So we got hands. And now I need my marker. Now, this is great because it's all circles. We a circle here. And a star. Do a circle here with a little circle. And then you fill it in. travel kit so I don't have my orange marker. And now, since coal is used, coal is usually lumpy, so these don't have to be perfectly straight. And now let's get the center.